why this is going to be great, especially with the results. A lot of money on the line, Larry. Three, Just two, saying. Two, All right, well, let's maybe see if Larry Larry's going to defeat his uh, demon maybe here. Maybe you should try beating Raido for once. Yeah, Raido's Rido is nuts. playing a different okay. level tonight. Rido, no, he Rido is. Raido is literally like a gypsy wizard when it comes to the can setups. And then sometimes he just throws the can out as a bait, and he'll just down throw up air you instead. And you just never know where to DI and nowhere is safe. The and can's just the bread and butter of Duck Hunt, and he yeah. just, he's just perfecting the art of the can. That's what it is. He has these setups. He places it in such in such a good... Yeah, even when recovering, he's just placing out the can, constantly applying pressure there, and that's... That's scary. It does great damage, too. Look and one would think, you know, Wolf has a shine, and Duck Hunt likes to throw things, so, you know, Wolf has an easy time. But okay. it's, it's actually kind of rough, because sometimes he can just not do those things. And if the shine doesn't actually connect, you're stuck in him for a moment. And then Duck mm -hmm. Hunt can run up and either get a punish, or he can set up something bigger than that. So, yeah, even like in, uh, it, like I said, in the previous iteration when they played, he had a shine when he was playing Fox as well, but he still really struggled, because uh, Raido was so good at changing up his play style depending on how much Larry was using the shine. And I feel like it'll be the same in this matchup. But Larry does take the first stock with a nice dash attack. We, we, we saw him throw it out, yeah, the shine a few times. Yeah, uh, it's definitely but still it's not, good. It's, it's not working in his favor right now, though. It hasn't really done anything for me yet. But it's definitely an important tool uh, for Wolf in this matchup. That combo was so sick, but he slid up the ledge okay, and Raido wow. turned it right around. But Larry got so much percent out of one grab. That upper actually kills a lot earlier than yeah. expected. Yeah, it does. It's Literally a duck poking you in the back, and you don't think it's going <laughs> to do anything to you, and you just go flying. Okay, that knockback too. Did you get a down ridiculous. smash here? He did not mean to grab the ledge. Yeah, that 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 was unfortunate. <laughs> he wanted to get close enough to get that spacing for like F tail F smash, or even possibly down. Smash. Can you imagine dying to a duck poking you three times? <laughs> I don't know that beak. What a terrible way to go. I guess. <laughs> That was actually, that sounded weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. That wolf flash looked like it lasted 10 years. That was so long. The hitbox got extended, I think, twice. Anyway. Okay, nice down throw. Yeah, Going for that bear a, there. It was actually, almost looks like that was going to confirm. This matchup does look kind of rough for Duck Hunt. Uh, it looks like Wolf gets to control the pace of the match, and that's all Duck Hunt wants to do. Duck Hunt just wants to sit in his corner and make you come to him and really focus on having you like make mistakes but mm -hmm. i think wolf has such a good neutral and such good like frame data on his aerials that he can really control the pace of the match just by nullifying can like you'll see right i'll try to use this can we'll probably pull one out right now yeah and, and <laughs> well larry, when he doesn't have one yeah he wants someone to right. come out and, and larry can just swat it away with Ooh, an aerial wow, okay. that was a good that trap. was a good yeah the gunman coming out there i was clean okay that down tilt he this might be enough that whole time I that how? was so <laughs> smart from Larry to never use his jump. He just recognized that he could get back every single time without it. Yeah. I thought he was dead there for sure. But he might be able to uh, to sneak in a little bit more percent here before uh, losing the stock. It's those little things. The fact that yeah. Harry, uh, Larry kept that. Okay, oh go for the down air. I think it's worth it at 174%. Like, if you oh, get that okay. down air, you're in such a good position. I mean, you win the game. So I think it was worth it at 174. He was dead to a random can at that point anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Pretty worth the risk, in my opinion, even though it did not pay off. Something just happened off screen. Something cool. Ooh. Don't know what it was. But Rido's slowly but surely making this comeback. He is only 30% down right now. Even Ooh. less now. He okay. has the lead. Rido's nuts. Okay, Clay Pigeon, yeah, into... Uh, that was up smash. That and was, now Larry's getting okay. a little antsy. If he, he needs his down smash, and he missed it. Yeah, Larry's getting so antsy for the kill. He just burned his oh, double jump. Oh, no. That's... Just up being right in his Good face. Good DI though. Good DI on the down throw. If he DI'd in, he was dead. Four tilt. Don't do it, Larry. You're crazy. Oh no. Okay. How did he make it back? Okay. Yeah, somehow that worked out. Honestly, How? honestly, probably what? shouldn't have won that game. <laughs> after Wait, that, that, after that, that killed? Game. Yeah, tilt kills. This is a very good move. 120? Really? Wolf, Wolf is a very good character in Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I didn't think that was gonna kill. <laughs> oh. Raito almost made that huge comeback though. Uh, and Larry started getting really antsy, and I noticed it because, like I said, he, he saved his jump through three iterations of getting thrown off stage, right? Yeah. And then when he started to lose the lead, he burned it immediately and tried to nair, and just like, oh, God, I got to get back to stage. I got to get back. It was and like he uh, ran out of stamina, yeah, basically, exactly. with his brain. He just he, wanted it to be over. He was yeah. like, okay, I've been overthinking this too much. Got Let me just antsy. do it. And yeah, he got a little antsy. And he's, it's weird yeah. to see him play Wolf, too, because he's an aggressive player by heart. Like. Literally in Smash 4, all yeah. he did was run at you with Fox. Okay, wow. And 
to play a character like Wolf, who's much slower paced. Did you see that? Has, yeah, that's wild. <laughs> has, Sorry. He has combos, but like, it's not the same, right? So yeah. I, the character, I honestly don't think the character fits the way that Larry likes to play the game, but the character's so good and Larry's so good at the game naturally that it's fine. Yeah. But in situations like that, where he gets really antsy for the kill, I think this character really plays into his weaknesses. And, uh, yeah, that's a good observation. Yeah, it was, sure. really, it was really scary there for a moment. I was, I was sweating. I just can't get over that he just back threw him into the can and then up aired him like three times oh. and he got to, he was at like 52%. Yeah, that's that's like a that's that like a right over bread and butter though. He does it so much. Oh he's God. just so good with the character and he's the only one. He's, he's honestly the only one who tries, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, as this main for life character loyalist. I hope I'm really excited to, when Banjo comes out if he does use him like he does with that kind. That's actually gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. All right, okay. Ooh. Nair almost connecting, uh, the can't connect in there. Wow. Nice up smash to uh, punish the dash he attack. He just, yeah, dash attacked right in front of him. Yeah, well, the he, he was able to take, I think, two stocks last game, maybe just one with the dash attack. So it's a viable kill option, especially against a character who's, like, not really uh, sitting in shield much. Yeah. Ryder doesn't sit in shield a lot. It's, it's mostly, like, throwing can, throwing out gummin, throwing clay pigeon, throwing aerial. And it's a it's like a pattern of those things. Yeah. So when you're playing against a character who doesn't sit in shield and you have a dash attack that kills, you know, more power to you. But Rido obviously saw it coming that time. Adapted from the first game. Yeah. Able to get a punish. Rido's also, he's actually dominating uh, with keeping um, Larry in the air right now. He's getting a lot of these up airs, juggles, and it's making it hard for Larry to land safely. Kind of, yeah. It's also scaring Larry into air dodging too onto the stage, which is super laggy. And this is kind of where I'm seeing him drive a bit. Again, right there, Larry saved his jump through so much like torture okay. off stage wow. because he knew he was going to need it in the end to actually make it back. And like, it's worth it to take all the damage if you end up living because you get in situations like this where now you have him on stage, he doesn't have a jump, maybe you get a punish. Never okay, mind. wow. But still, he tacked on a lot of percent. Whereas if he had burned his jump early, Rido would have been able to capitalize on that and just kind of take the stock. He just plays so safe with this can, actually. Yeah. He's just so patient and he waits for it. That up air, again, taking out the... But oh my gosh. Like, this this scenario is what I want to see. So, like, Larry might get start getting antsy for the kill, and that's just where Rido goes nuts. Because yeah. you just make a mistake and he, he's able to punish you over. What? And over. Wait, did that actually cancel, like, the, the know, last hit on the up smash? I want, I, we need a that should have killed. Scientist. That would have killed. He, <laughs> the can made him like fall out of the up smash, or yeah, I think the can just sent him in a different trajectory and kind of changed the momentum. Okay, well uh, that was actually a, a debatable air dodge, right on to Larry. Okay, so let's see what Larry does in this situation. This is the first time he's been down this much. Never mind, Ooh, he's just gonna dash that. Yeah, whatever, just throw it out. But so again, strong, like is. Raito is trying to sit there and set up stuff, especially gunmen. You can just run through the gunman because it doesn't shoot immediately. There's like a cooldown before it actually shoots. And Duck Hunt's stuck in the animation as well, so he he dash attacked at the perfect time, knowing that Raito wanted to uh, throw the gunman in that situation. Oh man, down throw, oh dash God, attack, so clean at that. Just exploding. <laughs> percent. Okay. Even percents here, too. This is actually crazy close. And again, this is a huge deal. Uh, this is winner's finals of a tournament where you win $6,000 if you take first place. And you do not want to go down a loser. Because one, then you have to come back up and play this guy again in two sets. And two, <laughs> that everyone in loser's bracket is really good at this game. And it's a lot, a lot harder to win a tournament like this with losers. So mm -hmm. This is a huge set. And this game means a lot. This is either Larry up 2-0 or a very even, basically yeah. clean slate. Oh, this is going to be this rough to recover from. Wait, the can exploded. That yeah. helped him so much. Oh, okay, yeah. Got yeah. antsy for that yeah. dash attack. That's, that's the second time he yeah. that costed him the stock, that he yeah. just dash attacked unsafely onto him. He shielded it. Uh, yeah. Up Look at Rido, out of shield. man. Rido's just laughing. He's <laughs> laughing away. Larry looks so concerned. So happy. I know Larry's like, oh, okay, god like, damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> like, oh, man. He's gotta, so serious. I got to get it together. Rido's just like, ah. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, like, good vibes all around. No, honestly, I, he seems so sweet. I wish I had the courage to go up to some of these Japanese players and just say hi. Hey. <laughs> They're really sweet. For the most part, that's like, for who I know, yeah, everyone's just super sweet. I agree. Every player I've met from Japan has been really nice. Oh, yeah. They're awesome. All right. There's, yeah, that down throw dash attack again. Love seeing yeah, that. Yeah, basically the sets. only thing you can do is zero. You can do up throw, but the dash attack sets up a tech chase and potentially gets you a lot more damage. The better option for sure, yeah. yeah. Now he'll probably do up throw. 
kind of just going into it too. I thought they would take a little bit longer, honestly, to decide, but uh, they're both really just uh, feeling themselves tonight, playing amazingly too. This, this set's probably one of my favorites of the night, for sure. It's definitely not Larry's favorite. I guarantee you that. Larry's not having any fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's such a safe option for him to roll in, and McCann's right there to cover yeah. that option so he can't, uh, Larry can't get that easy grab. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. The can actually cool. sabotaged the kill. Saved him once, and it sabotaged him once, so the universe evens itself out. Again? Yeah, Are oh my you god, Larry? the third time, yeah. I'm not biased, but stop, dude. That. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, uh, it's kind of a 50-50, though. <laughs> like, So if, if Raido pulls the gunman out, the dash attack kills. I don't even know if it would have killed at 100, though. That's kind of Yeah, kind of no, a silly he's just, he keeps on going for it, and uh, Raido's just going to shield that every time and get that up smash. It's the third time he's died to that. Yeah, Larry really needs to watch out. It does become this uh, weird 50-50 where like if Raido throws a gunman, then it hits. You got you either get the kill or you get stage advantage. But if it's shielded, Duck Hunt's up smash is so strong that oh my I don't God. know. Raido almost gets a better deal unless he's a kill percent. So I don't think I don't think Raido should go for it at all if he's not a kill percent. Wow, it was kind of cool. So he went for the down air there. Damage. Where did this even come from? I don't know. It's just a little innocent <laughs> dog and a quacking duck on his back and a can of beans. Oh, the pressure with the cans and now. Solidifying that stock with the down tilt. Sorry, this mic that hurt my ear so bad. And he's dead. He's gone. This is oh such God. a weird thing to think about. Like, Wolf looks so menacing <laughs> and, oh and threatening, God. and then it's literally a dog. He does. He gets so many of um, confirms he's accomplished strings at these low percents with yeah. the clay pigeon. It really oh. sets him up to send him vertically. Just having him in the air there, and it, it, at least he has a lot of options to follow up. Yeah, with. it really feels like at zero percent, Rider really thrives if he gets a grab and the can is already out. He just gets zero to fifty guaranteed, basically. And then from like fifty to eighty, it's all explosives, and then he's got kill confirms at that point. So, uh, Duck on has a very good game plan in this uh, in this game, and I think he gets a lot of mileage out of people not knowing knowing how to fight the character and getting really frustrated about fighting the character as well. Like you can slowly, I think you can see it in Larry's gameplay, he's just slowly getting more and more antsy over this whole set. He's trying to find his way in a little too hard. That was a really good uh, grab. No, like Raido really expected the dash attack there again. It might just be long-term conditioning. Okay, yeah, but up till I know he was he was waiting on that platform. He was waiting yeah. for it. This is gonna be so rough to come back from now. You have to win neutral without the can being there, so that you can get enough uh, of a combo to make it count without exploding off the screen. Yeah, there's that clay pigeon again. Oh my gosh, it sets up. And then the gunman into the back there. Is that it? That oh, is he died. it. What? Wow, that ca I did not expect that to take it. <laughs> Kathy says. So Okay, man, yeah, this set, though, this is actually... I'm also cold, but I think I'm shaking a little bit, too, because this match is actually <laughs> that intense. <laughs> they kind of need to turn off the air now, but wow. Man, Raito is no longer laughing. He's in serious Raito mode. Oh, yeah, no, this is... And this Larry's is, just like, God, get me out of here. <laughs> just don't make me play Duck Hunt, dude. The amount of money on the line right now, this is... I don't know how... They, they seem so composed, too. That's the thing. I wouldn't be able to sit up there with this much money on the line and be able to hold myself together. This that's, takes a lot of mental fortitude yeah, uh, to be... Yeah, top player. Yeah, to be out here like this and um, play with someone who's, you know, right on your level with you at top level play. Like, that's... This is scary. This is, like, over the course of the set, it's been looking rougher and rougher uh, on Larry's end. Raido's done an amazing job of... Uh, adapting to every little thing that Larry's doing, really, like, especially kill setups, but uh, a lot of it's just survivability on Raido's part. His his setups. Spargo just beat Kamehame. Wow. Off screen. Spargo's what? nuts. Didn't we should have had another street. Oh, man. Spargo's wild. Anyway, oh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Train. Who is that kid? He's too young to be this good at the game. He's two or twelve. <laughs> two. He's wait 13. what? He's wow. thirteen. I said two. I just right. mean to say. Yeah, he's two. two years old and he's out here beating <laughs> Kamehame. That's nuts. oh my god. Anyway, we're not supposed to be talking. That's, that's just crazy. Good no, stuff, that, to Spargo, yeah, dude. That's, that's an awesome. amazing accomplishment. Like I know it's a local, but this is a big deal. Thirteen years old that's and beating kind of one of the best uh, players yeah. right now in Smash. And anyway. for in Japan too. Anyway, uh, Raido 
barely taking the first stock here. Larry should not have that difficult of a time sealing this out. But if he if he missteps, like we said, we've seen the Rido combos at early percent. Oh, that was a good really there. Bad. Just shoved the can right back into his yeah. face. Get out of here. Lasers that one Ooh. away. Invincible get up attack is going to beat out the forward tilt though. And this, this is rough, man. This 36% is actually a big deal. Wow, yeah, that was actually really a really good option. Yeah. Kind of calling out that he was jump and uh, up smash is really good to call out or like to throw out at that um, percent. Super safe. Went for a jab, but Rido was able to get out of it. Can not going the way that Rido wanted there. Mm. Ended up working out in his favor though. It, it, it kind of set up like perfectly for that. That gunman saved his life. I think that forward air down air would have connected uh, if not for the gunman extending the hitbox of the forward air and delaying uh, Larry's oh, uh, hitbox there, or her box. That was so unfortunate for Larry. He could have had like a really nice lead yeah. there, but now Rido's just, it's the Rido show. Play pigeon to dash attack too? There's so many follow-ups with that move. Yeah. Leaves them up perfectly. I'm actually like not over that. It le it <laughs> up smash, up tilt. Dash attack, crazy. I think uh, I think Wolf should laser a lot more in this matchup. Actually, the laser beats out the can. It beats out Gunman. It reflects it too. It pushes and, it back. And uh, I think I don't know what it does with Clay Pigeon. I haven't seen it interact with that yet. But the fact that it beats two out of three of Duck Hunt's best tools is a, is a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised more. He's, he's really aggro now. Definitely just wanting to get like down smash close quarters. Be huge here. Doesn't get it. Okay. But, dude, he's done that so many times tonight, mm -hmm. where he'll down smash, and then people, you know. The, the bad option in that situation would be to roll uh, after that down smash because people are ready for the roll in case you were trying to tech. Yeah. But Larry reads the jump almost every time, connects the back air perfectly. Okay. And that's what he was amazing at in Smash 4 too. He's just amazing at ledge trapping you. And he's found a character that can do it. Oh man, yeah, applying all this pressure again with the can. That's just... Yeah. Ooh, nice scary. little lead here for Larry to try to uh, lead into a game five, but... Rido's, oh. Rido's just two stocks away. Yeah, there's the I don't think, again. yeah, we've seen him shine that like Yeah, he hasn't shined a lot. He has a laser. He literally short hopped into that can and killed himself. <laughs> Rido <laughs> did nothing there. Uh, he did absolutely nothing. Rido's only at a 42% deficit, too. Yeah, he actually brought this back. It's one combo, basically. As long as Rido has the can out, he can he can make up his damage really There was fast. a laser. laser uh, Clay Pigeon, by the way, they just canceled out. Even trades, like, oh, that down What? Yeah, yeah good okay. tech chase there from Larry. We're going to game five. This is insanity. How am I awake right now watching this? Wow. You, are you good? You looking for something? Right in the middle there, Elegant. Dude. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, Elegant is uh, he's stressing out right now. God, I'm stressing out and I'm not even playing. I look, literally, like my hand is You're shaking. You're shaking way I'm, more than they are. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. Wow, okay. It's only $6,000 for Sandy. I, Chill if out. I was <laughs> winning that through Smash, I, I would know. cry every That's day of my dream. life. That's the dream, and it, it's actually the dream. Imagine Spargo. Like, if Spargo wins his tournament, he goes home, he's like, guess what, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> what is a kid with $6,000? I beat $6, all the best dollars. players in the world. What are you going to do? I have a lot of money. Oh, my God. All right, okay, we'll go into FD for game five here. No platforms to utilize. Just a nice, flat stage here. Um, to reiterate. Oh, okay, that killed. That was a clean that was back clean. air. And yeah. that, he hasn't had like an early stock in a while, so this is a big deal. Yeah. He's going to be able to kind of, okay, now he's That could be a game changer yet. for Larry. So, so he could honestly just chill and shoot the gun like a lot. Shoot the gun a lot, use shine a lot, and add on little chip damage. He's content to take trades right now, so he can trade with the can as long as Rido's close yeah, by. Yeah, Rido's not letting Yo, he's going to combo oh. it. He tried to combo oh it in my down air. I thought he was just going to do Rar back air, but he actually went for the down air. He went for, yeah, the double clay pigeon to down air. That I, actually would have been sick if he was able to pull that off. The back air might have killed. I, I think, I don't know. I could be wrong, but the back air might have killed in that situation. Anyway, Larry's still living at 148%. Oh Hasn't done anything significant to Rido yet with the second stock, but uh, he's not dying, so that's good. Well, that's good. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's right there at that percentage. Ooh. This is actually Narrowly terrifying. And it's crazy there. how close this, this is. This is so back and forth. Both of these players just taking the stock one after the other. Rido, yeah, only having 8% on him. Larry definitely needs to rack up more damage before this. Uh, he loses his stock here. Yeah, Larry has not connected anything significant yet. Had to air dodge there to avoid the gunman. Finally gets a fair. This could be a lot of damage, but Rido's able to just air back into the stage. Oh, yeah, gunman into the can is going to do it. And 46%, uh, not too bad for Rido at all. Like I said, that's one combo if the can is near and he gets a grab. 
I did 19. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Rido's decision making is so good. Like even down to the way he, uh, when he rolls when he's like in a tech chase scenario, I've noticed a couple times he's just done so many smart little things. That was kind of a clean shine off the gunman. Nice snare. Off stage at least. Oof. There it again. He, so Rido really does jump every time uh, Larry threatens him with a down smash at the ledge. So I think Larry can capitalize with up smash right after the, the down smash next time. There's that dash attack again. Kind of uh, putting Larry in a bad spot. Uh, and again, at a percent where it would not have netted a kill, so. Yeah, this offstage situation. Yeah, every time he's definitely going yeah, for that. jumps a lot from the ledge. He, Larry I tried, I think time. he tried calling that out there, the jump. God, you're right. really jumps from the ledge a lot. That's what. That's all Larry needs right there. Well, that's what I, yeah, that's what I was saying. It looked like he was trying to call it out, but he just didn't do the right option. Ooh. That was a little wonky on Larry's part. I do not think that he meant to do what just happened. Threw him off, and now he's a stock down. Just like that, he's had the lead nice. the whole time. This is so much damage. 42% from one grab. Rido's like 50% away from going to grand finals. Oh my god, the situation. Yeah, Larry. Oh, see, he's trying to call out that kill. jump again, but How, with Nair. Oh my god, that up kill did not kill. He's doing a little, oh, going for Wait, the up smash. That was like a 200 IQ play that was not intended. <laughs> This is rough, and now Larry has to get antsy because he has to find a kill. Oh my god, cornering him with the can and then reading, uh, trying to read that roll for the up smash read. Back throw with the kill there, Larry doesn't want to stale it, so he just opts for the down throw to god. get him off stage, but it's not enough. Just looking, so like every second that goes by, this gets more difficult for Larry. Okay, but Rido actually, I didn't even realize Rido has an, uh, an extra stop Yeah, here, yeah, he's so about to win, is, Yeah. It's over, it's looking over. It's Larry looking can pretty. defeat the demon. So close though. He I mean, he can right still there. do it. It's just really, really difficult. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> wow, a spike to end it. Raido wow. is going to grand finals of this giant Wednesday night fights. Went through the gauntlet of amazing players that uh, showed up tonight. And now Larry's going to have to fight through losers finals in order to that get back to have another chance. was an amazing set. How's it going? That was actually, that was crazy. Um, great job to both players here. That takes so much mental stamina. Um, I'd be worn out. Yeah. That was so close. Every game was just keeping me on edge. It was terrifying. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're just waiting on Bo and Sue. Bo and Sue's on game three, and the winner of that set is going to fight Elegant. So I guess we're going to take a break for just a couple seconds, right? Javi, break time. <laughs> Javi. Javi, hello. Are we going to take a break while they play? Because we're waiting on a set. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a quick break, but we will be right back with Elegant versus the winner of uh, Bo and Sue. I don't know, yeah. A little cold, it was uh... a...
Hello, everybody. We are back. Uh, so Sue was defeated by foe off screen. Went yeah. me sore game three. Didn't work out, unfortunately. Thank That's you. a yeah. really comfy looking hoodie. <laughs> uh, Fortnite. And, uh, Cuddle team and now we got Elegant versus foe. Two Ooh. players that are extremely aggressive, extremely explosive, and uh, pretty much have the touch of death every single time. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Elegant getting. Zero to deaths all the time. Yep. Keep going for those. I don't um, know if I've seen this matchup in this game. I have. Uh, it's interesting. 